Hey, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and in this video I wanted to talk about the dashboard in Pro Tools 12.5. With the release of Pro Tools, a collaboration feature, a couple things have changed in the dashboard. Uh, when you're setting up a session, most notably, uh, you got to deal with is that uh, you have the new drop down here for project or session. If you're just wanting to run Pro Tools as you've always normally run Pro Tools, you have to change it to session. Why they have project? Uh, as default I don't really know I don't agree with it it should default at session but that being said if you do want to use project you got to sign in and then there's a, a ca cache setting we need to change which we can talk about in a couple minutes so the first thing you would do as I said go to session name your session file type uh, we're down to wave and AIFF most everything's going to be wave AIFF used to be the Mac proprietary format it's pretty well gone by the wayside bit depth you can find lots of discussions online about that I normally work in 24 bit but again personal preference I'm not going to get into all that here and then our sample rate. So we have all of our sample rate settings here. A lot of your settings here are going to be dependent on the interface you're using. And some interfaces, for instance, you won't be able to switch it here because the settings would actually be changed in the interface and then they would automatically pop up here on your sample rate setting. And then your IO settings last use is going to be normally default i have my custom settings here 16 by 16 which i have all the inputs outputs labeled custom that type of stuff you can pull any of that up here if you have that saved and interleave this dictates how pro tools works with stereo files so previously you had always had to take your interleave files and separate them as a separate right and left so you can still run that way or you can now run them in a full interleaved this setting here is for uh, creating new sessions now not projects but just sessions so you can have it every time you create a new session it'll ask you to prompt for where you want to save it to or you can set up a default and I would take it say to that drive use current folder and now that is my new default setting and over here if you're not wanting to create a new session you're just opening a session you can go straight to open from disk and navigate to the file you want to open or you can come under here and click under recents and if you have some recent files you've opened something like that they may be present right in here so if you do want to work with a project which I believe 500 megabytes is the default size you get for free with Pro Tools 12.5 um, obviously you would switch that to project and then you have to sign in so you have to use your avid sign in information uh, which you should have all of that already set up and go ahead and log in and after you log in um, your username, storage space you're using here will pop up, how many projects you got, and then to open a project, you come over here and then they have projects listed. What I find terribly important, and I don't know why they don't have it set up on the dashboard, but it's in the preferences, under operation you have your project media cache so this is where it's caching all of your files to so again most people won't want that you know for performance reasons because it is still uh, writing the audio to disk before it uploads it so you're not going to want that on your operating system drive and of course it defaults to your documents folder on your operating system drive so um, if you are going to be using your projects um, you probably want to save, or I'm sorry, uh, you probably want to set that default setting to another drive. So I would come over here where in this case, I, my project cache was already in here. It's where I normally have it at. So it's all saved under here. Use default setting. And then would you like to move? Yes. After that, we would have to open our dashboard again and go to our projects folder and then we can open a project.
So I covered pretty much all the facets of your dashboard except the create from template, which I think that's another topic not really useful for this video. So I hope that helped and feel free to contact us with any questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.